Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to download and install Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system on Oracle VirtualBox. So we will be installing Windows 10 and Win or Windows 11 on VirtualBox itself virtually. So for that, we need the VirtualBox to be installed. And for that, I'll just open the browser. And here we need to type VirtualBox together. Now, the moment you type it, VirtualBox, you can hit enter. And the very first result will come VirtualBox.org. Now, please make sure that you only visit this site, VirtualBox.org. And we need to click on that to open. And it says download VirtualBox 6.1. So I'll click on that. And a new window will appear like this, where we have platform packages for VirtualBox. And I can see we have Windows Host, Linux, and OS X. So here we will install Windows Host since we are using Windows computer. So I'll click on that. And a very small file will be downloaded. I can see a 106 MB file of VirtualBox is getting downloaded and we need to open it. Now the moment you open and install, it will look like this. There will be icon on your desktop like this. And I'll just do a double click and it will be open up like this. Now, since we have installed the virtual box, now we need the Windows 10 or Windows 11 ISO to install the operating system. So for that, you can open your browser and here you need to type Windows 10, download Windows 10 ISO. So the very first result will come, download Windows 10 disk image and you need to go through this website. Oh, please make sure you only visit the microsoft.com site and here you need to create Windows 10 installation media using this tool to upgrade PC or use this tool to create installation media like USB flash drive DVD or ISO file. So from downloading from here you will get an option to download ISO. So you can download this tool and save the Windows 10 ISO on your desktop or under my documents so you can save it anywhere and in the same manner you can download windows 11 so here i'll type uh, download windows 11 iso and hit enter the same result will come microsoft.com download windows 11 and here we have this windows 11 assistant create windows installation media or download windows 11 disk image so from here, you can download Windows 11 disk image ISO and from here, you can download it. So once you have saved that uh, ISO, here we need to go to this option called new and you can name it anything like uh, Windows 11 or Windows 10. I'll just mention it and I'll click on next because you don't have to make any changes here. It will automatically select and you don't have to make any changes in the location folder as well. So you just need to click on next and just choose the recommended memory. So it says recommended to GB. I have 8 GB RAM in this computer. So it's recommending me to 2 GB. You can increase it up to you and then you can click on next. And here we need to click on this create a virtual hard disk now. Please make sure you select that and click on create. And then it will ask you to select VDI or VHD or VMDK. So we will be selecting VirtualBox Desk Image and we will click on next. And storage on physical hard disk will be dynamically allocated, not the fixed size. We will click on next. And here are the file size. So for the hard drive, you can make it um, 100 GB, 50 GB, like that. So I am giving 50 GB for that, and I'll click on create. Now, the moment I do do it, you will see a option like this. And here, you just need to do a right click and go to settings. And here we have this basic, advanced description, disk description. So we need to go to the storage section and. Here we have this plus icon, so we will click on that because we need to add a disk. And here we need to click on add. 
and then go to the location where you have saved the ISO and you just need to select that file and you need to open it and it will ask you to install it and you just need to follow the very easy instructions to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer and once you do that you will see a window like this the moment you click on start by selecting Windows 10 you will have the virtual box open it for you and you can see I have Windows 10 opening right now so you can also do that very soon we will be able to log in to Windows 10 computer virtually so it's a very simple process you can let me know in the comment section if you find uh, some issues if you have any queries you can let me know in the comment section and guys if this tutorial is helpful please hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment if uh, you have successfully installed the virtual box and operating system as well so i hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day